Hello, my friend. I'm Pat Sloan, and the topic for today is another organization. We are six of eight, and it is time for, that's what this is, the ironing board cover. All right, this is my ironing board cover that I got not too long ago with the strawberries. And there's still some place that has that. So I'm going to link you up to where you can get the strawberry cover. But I've already digressed. Your challenge today is to take a look at your ironing board cover. Oh my goodness, my friend, I have seen some ironing board covers that, you know, if you were to walk into somebody else's home and see that in that your ironing board cover and an ironing board in that condition, you would be like, that person needs to change their ironing board cover. And so if that is you today, then make a new ironing board cover, get online and purchase one so it's coming. Personally, I like to have really cute ironing board covers. So mine are these strawberries. This is a pattern from the, uh, what is it, the Ruby Society. <laughs> Those ladies, the Ruby Society. And here it is, I'm getting up close here, up close and personal with my ironing board cover. So I do have a little water stain right here. So whoops, right there, which you may not see on camera. Yeah, so it, you know, I, I spilled some water there and then uh, it, it like stained. I'm like, why does it do that? I just, not, I don't even use crap on my ironing board. It's just, I don't want the cover to get crapped up. So I have backups of my ironing board cover. Just in case you were thinking that that's crazy, let me know if you don't have a backup. When you find a cute one, you need to buy two. So like I didn't buy two of this one because uh, they're not the cheapest ironing board covers. <laughs> so I only bought one, but I'm thinking I might get another one because I really like the strawberries. But they also came in great big peaches. And then I think they have a couple other styles. There's a black one with an eagle on it, or not an eagle, like a stylized, their, their symbol. Anyway, I'll link you to those. So if your challenge today though, for your organization is to either clean your ironing board cover or get a new one or make a new one. All right. <laughs> now on Monday, we start da -da 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 -da, the charming Christmas tree. Now we're gonna do that for, I think it's three weeks I have it, which in three weeks you should be able to put that top together and and maybe quilt it. I mean, my friend Sue did mine and I'm seriously thinking maybe I'll make a little one or at least attempt to sew along with a little one because I have some other things I have to sew uh, and we'll see, we'll see what I do. But let me show you what I'm thinking about. Let's come down here. I showed you these little minis, the little two and a half inch squares is the small ones made with two and a half inch squares. And so I have, and it takes two packs. So I have two packs of this Country Christmas. So let's open it up because it has the reds. And see, the, 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 what's nice is that this has a lot of tiny patterns. Oh my God, look how cute this is. Look at the little snowman faces. You can still get these little minis. Um, and you know, if you, even though we're starting Monday, you can still order and put this together. You have plenty of time. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's a bunch of white in here. So like a third of the package is white which means that you know I can't have a white background. So that's why I was thinking maybe, I don't think I have enough pink, but I brought the pink out, so then it has gray. So I brought the pink out because uh, I thought, well, what if I did, took the pack and did all the red and gray for the tree and then did all the rim in the white and then maybe, you know, that might be really cute. Uh, then I was looking, well, this is my Bonnie Lane and then this is a cross weave. So really what I have, the, the, the I don't think that they, sh they, you know, the pink would be okay. I don't even think I have enough though to start on Monday because you know, that that's just like two days from now. But let's see the gray, the gray works, this light, 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 light gray works really nice. Look how, oh, that looks really nice on the cross weave, but it also works good on my Bonnie Lane. So one of those two, I will, will use, and then I might still do all of these around the outside, so do the tree and the red and the gray. So this is what you do with your charm pack. Go through it and look to see what exactly the balance of the colors are, because even though if you're working with a Christmas charm pack, it still might have a variety of colors. This has three colors, and if I split it, you know, um, break it out into just the two, I think that would be cute. One of our friends on the, um, 
my Facebook group, Quill Along with Pat Sloan, they did a pillows. They did pillows from the mini tree. Instead of taking and doing the outer border of it, they just did the tree and they made them into pillows. So there's also some other fun ones still available. I wanted to show you again. Uh, the Santa Claus Lane, which look like the candy canes are super cute. Look at the stripe. I think I only have one of these. Uh, but see, if I wanted to do a mini out of this one, this like I don't want to chop up his faces too much. But see, if I wanted to do the mini uh, tree, this is four minis. You just cut it into fours. So that's what a mini charm pack is is one fourth of a regular charm pack. Then there was the flurries, which uh, has a lot of cute things. It feels less Christmassy. Uh, so it's got like the bears, look, look, oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. And there's polar bears. Now mine is done in the holly berries. So you can see that it has the green, uh, the red, the green, it's got this green. You can see it up there, the charcoal, the light gray, the dark gray, uh, and then the really dark gray, yeah. So there you go. So those are all the, the colors. And that's what, that's what this one is made out of. So you can see Sue laid it out really nicely and did that nice little, she did a nice mix of it all the way around. And then I had this one that there's still a, a layer cake, which is what this is which I wanted to show you anyways, because you might not want to, if you did this as a layer cake, a layer cake is four uh, charm packs, one, two, three, four. So like half of this would do that tree back there. So, but this is a really cute line and I hadn't shown it to you yet, but it's called uh, Christmas Traditions. Look at the trees with the lights for, you know, you go pick up your tree. Yeah, see, this is the kind of stuff I love. I just love this little snowman with the sled. And then there's trees where well, they're upside down. Let's see. And then a whole mix of ornaments. It's got this light green. It's got the red words. And it's got a leafy thing. And then the buffalo plaids, the big, big plaids. So it's got that light green, the red. It's got white background. Oh, there's stockings. See the cute stockings. So this would be cute even for a mini because they're not too big. Another medium green, a little bit different than this green. See that? They put two greens in this one, which is interesting. Ah, le look at this, three greens. This would be fabulous for one of the trees. And then black, lots and lots of black with a buffalo plaid. So there's lots of black. So it's mostly black and green with a little bit of red. So you could actually do a green tree with this one <clears throat> using all those greens and then some of the black and then save the white and the red for like the border. That would be really, really pretty. So that's, that will start. And if you want to, it's a free pattern. So if you want to sew along from your fabric you already own, then all you have to do is go get something. You can make your tree all green uh, and then maybe a red border on it or just make the whole thing green and white. Uh, you could, and then a brown trunk, of course, if you're going into your own fabric, you have lots of those options. <laughs> so that'd be really good. So how are you doing with um, your cozy things list? Because <clears throat> today I, uh, I'm going to wrap this up with an update on my wrists. But the one thing that we did was go down to an appointment for my wrists. And on the way back, Greg says, well, you want to get a, want to get a coffee? You want to stop, get a coffee? And so I'm like, yes, because that's cozy, going and stopping. It doesn't have to be hot coffee. I get the iced coffee because it is like, you know, like 80, 75 degrees here or something. <laughs> so, but that just a, like a cozy feeling at the end of something where it's like, it's not really terribly fun to go into facilities right now where there's a lot of people and it's a people where people are sick, you know, even if it is going to occupational therapy, you know, there's all kinds of people in there. Um, in the, in the in the in the hospital area, so you know, having something cozy afterwards is really nice. And this, for me, having afternoon break with a coffee or or some sort of you know relaxing you know thing just to take a little break is what's on my list of cozy things. Um, you know, so I've been thinking. Like I'm trying to name all the rest of the blocks, you know, for the, the cozy things. I have number three done for the name, but I was making a list of them. And I think they're going to be somewhat generic. That way we can incorporate thinking about the whole season or about thinking, thinking about things that are not seasonal. Like are this our overall things like having an afternoon break with something yummy to drink um, and maybe a snack. <laughs> Those would be 
cozy things. And the list to write it down on is in your block one pattern. So if you haven't done the patterns yet uh, and you want to jump in, they're super easy, they're super fun, so I hope you do. Um, I hope you do. And uh, today, um, yesterday, I'm sorry. <laughs> It was today while I'm filming this. Uh, the Socialites block came out, and I wanted to tell you how the project page update works. Because you remember when I told you the techno, you know how how I design things, you know how it's all very manual. The same thing is with the update of the project page. I have to manually update it, and so in the morning, luckily the block was there. Then I had to get some things together for some material to um, do a presentation to shop owners next week. And so I was working on that before I went to my appointment and I did not get a chance to go out and get the video and update the project page. So as of me talking about this right now, which is late afternoon on Friday, I still have not updated the project page with the new video. Um, so I will do that, but it's not something that is automatic in any way. Uh, so just, uh, if you see something when you go there and if you know like uh, check back you know if you go and you're expecting something on a project page an update or a link just check back uh, also you can get to things by just navigating it directly from the top of the website so there you go that's how that all works so wrist 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 so I have pretty much I'll have one short appointment left in December uh, which will be to just test the strength because that's my primary thing now uh, and waiting for all the swelling to go down. So there's still swelling, which is why the fingers are stiff. Uh, there's still swelling in joints, like there's joints in my thumb and I'm like, why are these things poking out? Are they bones, you know? And she's like, oh no, they are actually tendons that are swollen and they'll eventually go down. And I still have uh, to massage the scar area to get the scar tissue broken up. So I still have that work to do. And the strength training and the flexibility is still working on a few of, mostly the left hand. The left hand was much more traumatized than the right hand. The right hand is, is working pretty good. You know, they, they ache, but you know, not horrible. So uh, and that's, uh, Tuesday was four months since my accident where I fell, tripped and fell and broke both my wrists in case you're just joining me and wonder what I'm talking about. <laughs> Watch my video from around June 21st, I think it is. Um, but that's, that's where I am. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm really, really doing good, uh, on, you know, and the, the strength takes is taking away the, it's, they're not, it's, it's moving, but she needs to check it again in some time in December. Okay. That's my life, my friends. <laughs> Remember, we have Monday is in the evening, so we can have more people for the live chat. And I will see you then. I love you. See you online.